Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu. Today I want to do a little video to talk to you about luminosity masks and an action that I'm going to give you guys for free. All you have to do is ask for it. Uh, please don't distribute it. If uh, you know somebody that wants this action, just have them come to the blog and ask me. I'll be more than willing to give it to them. Um, so this luminosity mask, what it does, it lets you make specific selections in your image uh, based on light value from dark to light. So if I wanted to select all of the bright areas in a range, say for all this area and all this area that's similar within a range, in order to do that it would be very difficult if I have to use like a lasso tool or something like that. So let's open this image in Photoshop. We're in Lightroom right now. So let's click Edit In Photoshop CS5. This so is going to load the image up. And I'll kind of give you an idea of what we want to do. Say if we wanted to increase the contrast of the background or increase the contrast of, you know, this area, this mid-tone area. You know, in the past you could come in with, say, a selection tool and grab an area or a lasso tool and say I want to grab this, you know, this area and make an adjustment. I could come in there and grab the curves tool and make an adjustment on his leg you know but you see that line there you know there's lots of ways you can do it you can use the paintbrush and quick mode this luminosity mask has changed everything um, if you go into the curves tool this control Z this control alt Z and get rid of that if you go into the channels you'll see that the RGB red blue and green uh, are there you can create alpha channels which you can make selections in the image based on luminance or brightness levels. What I've done is I've created an action that does it for us. So let me run this real quick and show you. This is the action. If you click that action and you press play, it's going to go in and make a bunch of adjustments, add in some curves, and, and basically run it for you so you don't have to go do anything or have to even understand anything. So it's broken into two areas, darks and lights. So if we grab the darks, say we go dark one, and we want to grab this curves tool. If we look at this histogram, you can see that there's a spike here and it comes over to there. So it's saying that the dark area, like over in this area and, and some of the dark areas in the mouth, this curve is going to affect those. And I'll show you, if you watch me grab this tool and hover over in the image, you see this is a light area. It's just not falling inside this histogram. But watch what happens when I go inside of the darker areas. You'll see that that dot stays within this framework from here to here. So we come over here and we go into the dark areas. So let's load this selection so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you go to select, load selection, and we're in darks 1. So we click OK anything inside this box here is going to stay with inside this range on the histogram okay so you can see that all of this selection this is not in the selection but all of this selection all this grass this podium all of this is inside that histogram so if we make an adjustment that only that area will be targeted the rest of it's not targeted okay um, you can add color adjustments, you can add contrast adjustments, any filter you want to use you can use. So say if we want to grab vibrance and grab vibrance only the areas of the image that were selected will be affected. Let's control Z and get out of that. Let's go in and load some of the lights. And each one of these levels is different so we'll go grab darks 4 real quick before we leave we go select load selection dark 4 okay now you'll notice that everything besides this area here is loaded so we can invert the selection or we can keep the selection the way it is so let's go to the whites and to invert a selection let's load one of the mid-tone ones this is kind of a mid-range in the darks let's go to select load selection it's going to load darks too. Okay, so if we do anything here in this adjustment, you know, it's going to have a pretty big impact. If we invert, 
control shift I that's inverting the selection now everything on the opposite of that is going to be adjusted okay so let's control Z control Z control Z get out of there and let's come down to the lights so we'll close this group up here and we'll grab lights one and we'll just load the selection so you can see what's happening select load selection click OK so we're back to this lights so only the stuff inside this marching ants are going to be affected so if we grab this tool and we go inside this box you'll see that we're going to stay right inside that histogram just as before in the mouth and this box was going to run from here to here this is all of the area that's targeted so when we make our adjustment nothing else will move so what we'll do is we'll pin this this curve so that it won't make any moves outside of where our adjustment is which will be right about here we'll pin it I'm going to get rid of this one delete and now I, I'm only making adjustments based on this selected area only okay if I hit control shift I that will invert the selection and now when I make selection only the inside of the line will be affected do you see that I know when I moved the curve tool before it did a global adjustment because I didn't pin this uh, curve adjustment but only inside the selections being affected because I've pinned it okay so I hope that makes sense you don't have to go in with any of the magic brush tools or you know quick selection mode with the paintbrush and try to s go in there and choose only the highlight areas you know you can use this luminosity mask action to grab control of any image I gave you an example in the blog where you take an image of a daylight scene and you're exposed for the building so the sky is blown out and bright well now you can go in and fix your sky with ease anyways thanks for watching See you soon.